Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we're going to do some vibe coding with the Raspberry Pi 5 and Claude AI. Now, you could really do this project with any Raspberry Pi. You could use a 5, a 4, a 3, but I just thought this would be a fun way for us to play some games, learn about Python, learn about AI, and learn about the Raspberry Pi. Now, let's get started. To get started here, first we're gonna open up our internet browser and we are going to go to claude.ai and I'm already logged in. This is a free account and we're gonna just start off by saying code in Python and the first thing we're gonna do is a rock, paper, scissors game. Let's see if it can code a rock, paper, scissors game. I'll create a rock, paper, scissors game in Python for you, uh, let you play against the computer with a simple command line interface. This is the code over here. Best out of five rounds wins the game and uh, my choices are rock, paper, and scissors. I'm gonna hit copy and then I'm gonna go over to programming and I'm gonna use Genie and it opens up a new program. I'm gonna hit right click, paste that on there. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna make a new folder called games rps.py and I'm gonna hit enter to save. Play the game, so I'm gonna hit play button, choose rock, paper, scissors, or quit to exit. So I'm gonna choose paper, enter. Computer shows rock, I won. Okay, that's round one. There's, now there's round two. I'm gonna choose scissors. It's a tie. Now I'm going to choose rock. I won that one. Okay, let's go with scissors again. Yay, I won the game, woohoo! Play again, yes or no, I'm gonna hit no, enter and I hit enter, and that is the end of the game. It completely coded the game using Claude, and then all I had to do was uh, copy and paste. This is uh, coding in Python using Claude on my Raspberry Pi. I'm a big fan of Big Bang Theory. I don't know if you know that one, but there is code in Python, the rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock game. Let's see if it knows that game. Hit enter. And it is an expanded version of the traditional rock, paper, scissors game uh, made popular by the TV show Big Bang Theory. Oh, and it writes all the rules out for me. Scissors cuts paper, paper covers the rock, rock crushes the lizard, lizard poisons Spock. So it knew the whole game, all the rules to play the game. We're gonna hit copy over here. We're gonna go back to our genie. I'm gonna do a new file. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit paste. I'm gonna save, and now let's play. Hit the go here. I'm gonna choose lizard, the computer one. So now I'm gonna try Spock. All right, computer one again. Okay, let's try scissors. Okay, I, I finally won one. All right, paper. Okay, that was a tie. Rock, have I tried rock yet? I, I won that round. And let's try uh, Spock again. I won the game, woohoo! Play again, yes or no, I'm gonna hit no. Enter to continue, and that is the rock, paper, scissors, lizard Spock version as coded by Claude.ai. All right, was that fun or what? So that was a great way to look at some Python code and have it coded by Claude on your Raspberry Pi. Start a new game. Code in Python, a number guessing game. Guess a number, a number between one and 10. Enter. Would you like me to explain how this code works? Sure, yes. Imports a random number and the max number of attempts is three guesses, and then it tells you if you got it right or not. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna hit copy, and this time we're gonna use a different programming, Thony. Let's open up Thony, hit right click. I'm gonna paste that code in there. Now I'm gonna hit run. I'm thinking of number between one and 10, you have three attempts. I'm gonna hit five, too low. Okay, seven, too low, eight. Enter. The number was 10. Do you want to play again? I'm going to hit no. And thanks for playing. Goodbye. I see that it made max attempts a variable. So we could change this to you only get one attempt. Save. I'm going to hit run. Okay. You have one attempt to guess a number between one and 10. I'm going to hit five. Too low. And the number was eight. That is kind of cool where you can change the number of attempts that you get. What I don't like about this is that what if I wanted to change the number between one and 10 to one to hundred and I wanted to have more guesses or this. It hard coded that in. So let's see if we can go back to Claude and say recode so that I can uh, change the number uh, 10 to any 
other number. So they made max attempts three, and now I want to make sure that I can always change the upper limit to something else. Added parameter upper limit, so I'm going to hit copy. Let's do a new file. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit paste. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit run. And now I get to choose what the maximum number for the game is. So let's choose 100. I have three attempts to guess a number between 1 and 100. So too low, too high. All right, I'm getting close, 55. Oh, I guessed the number correct in three attempts. Look at me. Do I want to play again? No, I do not. And that is the game. So now it lets the user decide what the upper limit. I'm gonna hit stop here. Let's do a third game with Claude. And this game is going to be a memory game. Code in Python, a memory game with a GUI uh, with a four by four matrix. This memory game features four by four grid of cards, eight pairs, 16 cards, symbols A through H for matching. Let's copy that just to practice your terminal commands. We're going to do ls folders. I'm going to cd into games. That's where we put all these games. I'm going to nano this memory.py and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste and I'm going to hit control x to exit. Yes. Hit enter memory. Let's see if this works. Python memory.py. Okay. Hit new game. Then I'm going to click E F. Okay. Then try C A. No matches so far. Yay, I won the game in 18 moves. That is the memory game. Let's say you want to recode to use animals instead of letters. Let's see what it does then. Hit enter. Now, um, the game you know, uses cute animal emojis. Let's scroll over to that. Think on a Raspberry Pi, I think some of the letters are a little bit, don't show up. Recode for emojis for a Raspberry Pi. Emojis can have compatibility issues on Raspberry Pi. Uh, recode to use text instead. Here is the code. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to nano memory dash animals.py. So this is a new file. Right click. I'm going to paste. Control X to exit. The letter Y to modify. Enter. Let's play this game. Python. Press new game to start. Cat. Bear. Mouse. Cat. Okay, I found the cat. I won in 15 moves. That was kind of cool. So I did recode it. Can hit new game. I can X out of this. And there you have it. That was coding games in Python using Claude. Now, if you want to see other AIs, this is part of a larger series. So make sure to check those videos out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.